What's up guys, so let's get back to the time when it all happened. So let's get back to the end of the year 2015 and it's been a few days after Christmas actually and I somehow managed to train up to my first golden frying pan in nearly under 8 months of hard work trading and in this time I was slowly getting bored of TF2 I have nearly uh, 2000 hours on it and literally 90% from it is spent on trading servers and the rest 10% is uh, basically me recording the background footage for my videos. Uh, yet I still don't quite understand how to enjoy TF2 as a game and not as a platform uh, used to trade. Also, right at this time, most of my friends decided to switch to CSGO, which didn't help me much to decide if I want to stay in TF2 or keep on, um, keep on playing the CSGO and other games. And that's mainly why I decided to switch as well, with all my items. However, if I think about it now, it was uh, probably a pretty stupid idea. Um, Mainly because I was pretty unexperienced CSGO trader and I only made few trades here and there and I wasn't aware of all the latest scam techniques and I won't lie, I was actually sadly stupid enough to fall for one of these scams myself. Now I don't really want to go deep into the details because I could honestly talk about this subject for many more hours. Uh, but shortly I trusted someone I used to play with uh, in CSGO for some time and I downloaded what I shouldn't. Now I know eventually I started to realize that this was one of the worst decisions in my in my life I guess. Right after I realized I lost everything and I and I wasted nearly one year of constant trading I had to take a break for some time so I decided to quit gaming and take a short break and try to forget what happened. I try to do some other stuff so it won't remind me of my items and what I lost. However, at a certain point I wanted to get back to the gaming. And to be exact, it was actually a few months after I decided to take a break. And even after all this time I still remember how I logged into my Steam account uh, for the first time since this all happened. And at the first I was, I was depressed and in a really bad mood. However, soon I realized that at the end it might not be as bad as I thought. So yeah, indeed, I lost thousands of dollars. Now to be exact, around 2300 keys. But actually, I enjoyed trading up. It wasn't like I was forced to trade up uh, by anyone. It was my decision to trade up. I was enjoying the game, trading up. Now, this might sound uh, a bit cringy, but honestly, if I had any free time, I spent it to trade. It was slowly turning from a hobby to my passion and slowly it was turning to addiction. As you may imagine, it didn't take long for me to make an official decision. Do I want to start over trading again? Now this was a pretty big question for me. Maybe it was just a bad feeling which was following me and it kept me uh, motivated to make up the loss. And I wanted to prove something to myself as well actually. Uh, if I did something in the past, I can probably do the same thing and possibly even better. And yeah, um, right at this time I decided to get back to making YouTube videos as well. And this is literally how it all started. I think at the time I used to have like 600 uh, subscribers on YouTube and I started trading. And But it, it was tough, I won't lie, it was tough. And I was thinking of quitting and giving up many times, but right at this time, when I was uh, complaining about the current state of TF2 and its economy, uh, actually I talked with my friend Solid20DE uh, and this guy decided to help me, like no one else. And he decided to give me a low tier unusual and he told me to trade up again. Why was I so shocked? Because till then literally nobody gave me anything. I was helping everyone, but no one helped me. And I was so used to the standards of trading that basically uh, nobody will give you anything for free and that if you want something, you need to achieve it. And after a few minutes of consideration, I decided to accept his offer, but under one condition, basically a promise that I will pay him back everything once I can afford it. Now, both of us agreed actually. And right after I started trading as we intended. 
And after four months of concentrating, I finally decided that it was a perfect time to to give him back what he gave me, uh, basically the unusual he um, he donated to me. And after like three months of concentrating, it was exactly seven months, I think, uh, since I lost my inventory. And spoiler alert, uh, today is the day I finally reached the goal uh, I always dreamed of. Now, I think you might actually get an idea what my quote-unquote training dream is already, but if not, I sadly can't tell you yet. I wanted to make another video discussing this subject and once again, this is not just a goal I reached in trading, it means um, something something I can't, can't really explain. It means way more to me. I finally lost the bad feeling which was following me till now. So yeah, anyways guys, I'm really afraid this is all for this video. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are one of my older subscribers, already i hope you are not disappointed because of this different style of the video this is basically my first attempt to make a story based video and believe it or not it's still pretty hard for me to to speak constantly like five plus minutes in english but i mean i'm tr at least trying my best anyway guys thanks for all the support I'm afraid this is all for now, make sure to stay tuned for my future videos, I promise they will be way more entertaining for you guys uh, than my previous videos and my current videos, so yeah, as always, see you guys in the next one.